gonna reply, Groundhog. Are you ready? But better than that, I hope. Yeah, I hope so. <clears throat> Are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Ground Let's do that one more time. <laughs> Ground horse. Woohoo! Awesome. That was great. This came. This cane has been handed down from president to president. It gives me the ability to speak groundhog ease. That's how I communicate with Phil, through chirps, winks, nods. Ch uh, I'll be able to understand Phil so I can uh, pick the pr appropriate scroll. And this cane also has some very special meaning to me. My father, Bud Dunkel, carried this very cane through the 1980s and 1990s. So that is pretty cool. <laughs> now, now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we're about to do here. I'm gonna take this cane and I'm gonna knock three times on the door. His handler, AJ, will pull Phil from his burrow and hold him high for all to see. He will place Phil upon the stump where Phil and I will have a little talk <laughs> and I will pick the appropriate scroll and it'll be read by the vice president If it is shadow I see, it'll be six more weeks of winter there will be. <laughs> no shadow, an early spring. Wow, bias crowd. Gentlemen, are you ready? Daybreaker, please place the royal red carpet. Mr. Vice President, will you place the scrolls? Gentlemen, gather around. Now, it's a tradition that we will shout Phil, 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 Phil,
scroll. We have a scroll. This February 2nd, Punxsutawney Phil, the seer of seers, was awakened from his wintry nap at dawn on Gobbler's Knob. Phil looked to the skies and then, speaking in groundhog ease, directed this, President Dunkel, to the proper scroll, which reads, I see the morning has brought the finest people. I see their bravery and spirit. The time has come, I can feel it. The excitement, I can hear it. I see the folks with gray in their hair, and I see the kids all young and scrawny. <laughs> their eyes and cheeks aglow from the cold, clean air of sweet Punxsutawney. I see that everyone knows their part, and I am merely the sage. But above all else, I see a shadow on my stage. And so, no matter how you measure, it's six more weeks of winter weather. Does it look great to you, Phil? Well, thank you very much. That concludes our ceremony. If you would like, you can come up on the left side of the stage and get your, come across and get your picture taken with Punxy Phil. We'll do that for as long as we can. Um, um, I also wanted to say, Joy downtown Punxsutawney. There's a lot of activities in the park. Uh, a lot of places to eat breakfast. A lot of uh, places to buy souvenirs. So enjoy downtown Punxsutawney. Thank you and happy Groundhog Day. When Chekhov saw the long winter, he saw a winter bleak and dark Way to pump up. Cold. Yet we know that winter is just another step in the cycle of life. But standing here among the people of Punxsutawney and basking in the warmth of their hearths and hearts, I couldn't imagine a better fate than a long and lustrous winter. 